All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this is going to be a response uh, to the brother here in the camp, uh, Kahun, Priest Kahun. He, um, uh, this brother, he did a, uh, you know, a response to the full interview for uh, Alex Jones and uh, Aaron Russo. And uh, there's one point in here I want to play, you know, because just proving, you know, the title of his video is uh, the video shows E oppressive nature upon Israel. You know, because you're dealing with a sick, a sick freak, man. All right, that's what that that's who's ruling the world, a sick freak. Okay, which is um, uh, Esau, Edom. You know, and um, I was watching interviews today. I was watching um, Dr. Claudius, what's his name? Dr. Claudius Anderson, something to that nature. So like it if I got his name wrong, but he was on the Breakfast Club. And then I went to you know his page. I started watching some of his view videos. Uh, and that's a guy that the brother in the camp, Shalama, the herbalist, he, um, he, uh, you know, he basically put brothers on to him, uh, to Dr. Claudius Anderson, I believe that's his name, you know, and, uh, he made some, a lot of good points, you know, he got a, a background of, uh, you know, uh, experience dealing with Esau, dealing in the government and things of that nature. But even he goes off, you know, saying that the native Indians, are just a, uh, another type of, well, how can I, what he say? He said something around the, the native Indians was a noose, were, new, were, were created by the black people, some shit. But, you know, his history and everything is on point, you know, so it's like you got to chew the meat and spit out the bones. But anyway, I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to play some of this video. And, um, Lord willing, I hope you, you guys are edified. His club opened, and even still, they ended up uh, setting fire to his club and burning it down. And um, I'm going to show you that this man is a thin devil. All right. And then this one is really going to piss you off, man. So I might just play, I might just play like another two minutes, you know, and um, hey, low willing you, I can be edified. And the judge agreed with the IRS and said they could do it retroactively. And that's when I knew that there was something wrong in America with the IRS and the system here, you know. Aaron, you were telling me this story last night. Uh and before he even finished saying in the late 80s, the tax law, I said retroactive. And I knew that because they literally ruined my dad, but, but he paid. He, he didn't know. He still thought this was America. And uh, it, it was legal tax law, what you're supposed to do. They said retroactively you owe and with, not just retroactive, but they said you also have penalties and interest. That's right. So how do you have penalties and interest on something when they retroactively change the law? Well, first of all, you can't retroactively be, how can you, how can you do something retroactively? And penalties and interest are a farce. The whole thing, because they do whatever they want to do. And that's when I realized America is not America. It's not the land that I was taught it was. Because they can do whatever they wish to do. And there's nothing the citizen can do about it. Damn, there it is. All right, this is why we don't believe in the system in which you try to come up with. You know, and that goes for any proactive Jake, you know, conscious Jake, you know, still trying to fight for black rights and this and that, because in that breakfast, the uh, the, the interview with Dr. Claude, Claude, Claudius Anderson, um, he, um, you know, talked about a lot of things, which made a lot of sense. But and he even said that, you know, next, he said if black people don't come together, then that's it next year. You know, well, anyway, but, um, you know, there's nothing you can do to uh, establish yourself as a uh, what you call black people you know to come together and um and and have some type of uh resources in this world because you already been robbed you know and this goes out to all you so-called negroes latinos native and seminal indians you know and this is why um you know the the prophets were sent forth to to give you hope you know because we're about to have the world despite that we have nothing and we were robbed stolen you know even stolen from our nationality and our inheritance the Heavenly Father still gave us hope, and which that hope is and that belief is to believe in Him. Because Yahweh Shai will crack those clouds, man. Now they're demonizing the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know. So, hey, they demonize the people of the Lord. 
But, um, you know, with that being said, this place is going down. You know, this is Isaiah chapter 47 and 1. Uh, I start at 6, but this whole chapter is good. But I start at 6. It says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient has thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Now, who the Lord is talking about? The Israelites. All right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. You, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. You so-called Haitians, you so-called West Indians. Y'all all Israelites. And the Lord is talking about you. And who did he give us uh, uh, unto? Esau, Edom. So I'm going to read again. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance. Yeah. The Lord polluted us because look where we are now. Degenerates, man. You know, our people can't get right even if it was handed to them. You know, they can't even be established in a position to do right because we got curses and our people are wicked as hell, man. You know, you won't do right by the Lord. All right. So it says, and giving them into thy hand, thou didst show them no mercy, which is Esau, upon the ancient has thou uh, verily heavenly laid thy yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither did thou remember the latter end of, end of it. And that's talking about you Edomites, proud to be here in America, man. You think you're going to sit as a lady forever. But the Lord got something coming, man. All right, right in the midst while you're eating. You know, the Lord is going to bring you down. So it says, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither did remember the latter end of it. Because they got all this control. They got all these uh, policies. They got all these laws they got all these different um these these things set up so that jake can't get across that line you know they got it all in the bag and now you know watch 2020 watch they start you know start looking forward to mandating that mark of the beast the rfid microchip all right it says therefore hear now this thou that are given to pleasures thou thou uh, excuse me that the the well is carelessly that say is in thou heart i am and none else beside me I shall not sit as a widow Neither shall I know the loss of children You see Because you believe that You know you're not going to go Into captivity You believe that you're not going on a mass scale Be destroyed Alright This is proud You're proud Alright It says these two These things Excuse me But these two things Shall come to thee In a moment In one day The loss of children And widowhood They shall come upon thee and their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. Because this place is truly uh, uh, based around uh, witchcraft. There's witchcraft on television. There's witchcraft in your cartoons. There's witchcraft they do over your foods. There's witchcraft everywhere. There's witchcraft when you outside, you look at certain buildings, you know, these different, uh, 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 different establishments. It's witchcraft everywhere, man. The music is witchcraft. All right. The way they run the world is witchcraft. It's all lies and bullshit, man. It says, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment. And uh, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. All right. And that's going to be by the way of thermonuclear fire. All right. But first, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to take his place. You know, he's going to take his ruler seat, you know, here before this great destruction come. All right. Because when he going, because like we always say, he's going to crack those clouds. Verse 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Uh, thou hast said, none seeth me. Thou wisdom and thou knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now in thy enchantments and in thy multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou was was what thou has labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary in thy multitude of counsel of thy counsels. Let none of the let now the astrologers and the stargazers and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee because what the lord is bringing you can't stop you know we need yahweh shai man maybe i'll title you know, this is a response 
But another title could be we need Yahweh Shai. We need our Savior. We need the Lord to redeem us, man. Because Jake is finished. Jake is finished. You know, our advised brothers, go watch um Dr. Claudius Anderson interview on the Breakfast Club and how he spoke on a lot of things. He got into the history and, and just knowing dealing with politics. You there's no win. They, really, I mean, he's trying to give a solution. But guess what? There is no fight. The only fight is that you call back into your true and living power, man. You know, and a lot of the world today don't believe. You know, of course, the world can't believe. But I'm going to say the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah believe. All right? So let me continue. I'm going to finish it up. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before, before it. Uh, thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thou merchants, for thou youth, from thou youth, they shall wander every one to his quarter, none shall save thee. All right. And ultimately, that's going to be the destruction, you know, the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is also known as the daughter of Babylon. O daughter of Babylon, O daughter of the Chaldeans, because the modern day Chaldeans today are the, the house of Esau. OK, which, uh, you know, they go by the names of the Rothschilds and many different other banking names, you know, that they go by. All right. But to identify them, they are Esau Edom, according to the Bible. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying. This is just a little quick response to the brother, brother Priest Kahan in the camp. You know, he did a uh, show, a response to the Alex Jones interview with Aaron Russo, you know. So, you know, with that, Shalom. Um, let me say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to my apostles and elders, great millstone, salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect across the world. Shalom.